She threw it right in my face. We did that. We did it, man. Welcome to the farm. Oh, hey. Hey, look at this. Wet. Hold up. Hold up. Wet. Get it. Hey, check this out. What? Uh, missed that. Uh, oh, sloppy. But you know what? Wet. Hold on. I got something else. The fadeaway. Mm. Hold up. From the corner. Wet boy, who is y'all messing with right now? Who is y'all messing with? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Boy, I gets busy. I gets hella busy right now. Check this out, man. Today, what did I do today? I did a lot. I think I did a full body. Um, focus on lower body actually. So as you see, I'm warming up right now, doing some step ups. Um, I really enjoyed today's workout. I haven't been crazy going on the weights uh, like usual, and I'm pretty loving it right now. Um, feeling healthy, feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more, um, I say, my, I'm just giving my body time to settle in a way, recover um, even more. And I really need to add this in to my week more often. Uh, so right now this warm-up is really random just jogging back and forth doing step overs over the box uh, box jumps um, Just really getting my hips and my uh, legs activated uh, The reason why I'm using the TRX with my legs right now is because I'm just focusing more on a hamstring glute squeeze um, Doing this movement do about like 20 reps doing like, like two sets and then working on that hip mobility right now with the cross leg, um, I think about 10 reps each leg right here. Really need to focus more on my hip flexibility. My hip flexibility is pretty bad. It's always tight, which is usual for somebody who power lifts um, weekly, every other day pretty much. But that's something you really need to focus on. Your body naturally is going to just tighten up doing that because it wants to stabilize those certain areas, especially if you're lifting a lot. You know, the, the stronger and more stable those um, areas are, the better your lifts are. So that's one thing with powerlifters or powerlifting or lifting heavy regardless um, that makes it tough is because, you know, you go through your daily life and you need that flexibility but sometimes a little bit too much flexibility can really hurt you and you don't have that that cushion not not the cushion um that stability that strong areas around the muscles you need to lift heavy and when it's too, when it's too flexible you could actually um hurt yourself but as you see right now doing some hamstring curls and then doing some butt kicks and what we're doing is contrast training right now and that's when you do a loaded set and then right after you do an unloaded set on like a plyometric or body movement and we're going about like what did i do uh i did 20 reps 20 reps all together 20 reps each leg you know if i did it two legs together um 20 reps and then once again about five ten seconds actually eight seconds so I did 20 reps and then eight seconds of the butt kicks, um, really focusing it on that, bringing the knee up right here, um, just kind of playing around, staying active. This day was just all about just being active, trying to be fast, uh, using those fast twitch muscles, and then uh, some conditioning stuff a little bit with the high reps. Uh, but I really need to and you do too if you if you're not doing it you really need to some days just focus on moving just focus on getting those um things that you don't get normally done for yourself you know my, my main goal for you guys is to really stay active you know full body all around not every gym session needs to be something with heavy weights because i know if you're like me I used to think, you know, oh, if I don't lift something heavy, then I'm not doing anything. If I'm not, if I'm not in here putting up 
500 something pounds on something, I'm not getting anything done. And that's not the case. You really have to mentally settle yourself and really figure out, okay, what's the long-term goal? You know, now what's the short-term, what's the long-term goal? And, you know, I've already told you guys, as long as when I get older, I can still bench, you know, 400 for a couple reps, um, squat 500 for a couple reps, uh, 600 on, on uh, deadlift or whatever, you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. And that's what I aim for. But for me right now, I have to burp, sorry. So for me right now, you know, I'm trying to get into a powerlifting um, meet this year. I don't know what weight yet. I'm bouncing back and forth. You know, I've lost weight right now. I'm at like 220 something, which is pretty, pretty low for me. I'm usually around like the 230 and uh, like two, I think, I think I'm below 225 right now, to be honest. So I'm, I've been feeling really weak. I'm not even gonna lie. And it's tough. It's tough getting down to that lower weight and then trying to, you know, get back to the weights you were pushing at that lower weight. It's just not going to happen. You know, you have to, your body has to adapt once again. You know, benching 500 to 230 is extremely different from benching 500 at 225, 224, whatever it is. And pounds matter. Pounds matter. Trust me. And and I probably had more fat at 220, I mean at 230 or 235 or whatever than anything, but even still, that's still more size added on to you. And regardless, it's gonna help you with the lift. More weight, easier to lift. Like if I was like 250, if I was 250, I promise you guys, naturally, I could probably get up to like that high 500s to 600s. And I know I said if I was to bench 600, um, then I was probably on some stuff. And that's once again, that's saying me being at like 230, you know, 230, 220. You know what I'm saying? That's just insane. Being 220, being able to bench 600 is just insane. You know, so if I'm going up in weight, then... I mean, then it starts to be make more sense. But right now, um, it's doing step backs. Step backs is gonna step backs is gonna work those glutes and hamstrings. Um, something that athletes and everybody should really focus on. Uh, that glute activation will keep you from hurting yourself when running. And I say this a lot um, over my videos, over my athletic videos, and my training period. And um, just really focus on that. Now right here, I was had the feeling of starting on some starts, really getting that first step, that explosive boom, get that triple extension, get that, that um, the leg that you're pushing off, you want it to be straight, you want to get as much power as you can out of that. And then after that, um, about like six starts, I was just doing some conditioning work, running back and forth up the uh, turf, and really just working on that internal, um, uh, damn it, just working internally on those, those, the lungs and stuff, the capacity to be able to work longer, of course. Now this is a Kaiser. I used this machine when I was uh, training for the NFL and it tr trains your power output. It shows you your power output and works your legs unilaterally, which is great. So it helps with that drive. I know a lot of gyms will not have this. This is usually for athletic gyms. So it's rare to find, so I know you probably won't have that. But do step ups and stuff like that to work it in a different way. So here uh, is a little bit more conditioning work. Got a 125 pound dumbbell um, that I'm just doing overhead carries and walking about 10 yards with. And I did that about four times um, just, just to stay active, have something new to do. Um, you do need shoulder stability with that. It helps with shoulder stability, helps with strength. And then you see me dead. And there is, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, you, woo, oh shit, got a black ninja up in this big. And boy, you looking fat. All right, y'all. I'm out. Titties.